and welcome back to another lip balm review. We're doing another balm shot today. I think the only one I have left after this one is another vanilla mint just with different packaging. Well, I'll probably do a review just for the sake of saying I reviewed it, even though it's probably exactly the same. But this one is the original raspberry flavor, and I love this little bird on it. Like, is this not the cutest little bird? It's so freaking cute. Anyway, so we're gonna get right into it. Obviously, format wise, it is a tube type or a stick type lip balm with a very unique casing, as all of the balm shots do. I love their whole thing of shotgun shells loaded with lip balm, not buckshot. <laughs> For some reason, it cracks me up every time. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop this baby out. Okay, there we go. Non-lethal dispenser. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, and by the way, I am freaking stupid. I have said over and over how they don't have the um the expiration dates on them. Yes, they do. I'm retarded apparently. <laughs> it's on the cap, not the base. Oh, what can you do? And I usually notice it as soon as I finish filming and then I'm like, I did it again. So anyways, but yeah, so here it is. This is the packaging. This one's a red tube instead of the standard orangey yellow or the pink one or whatever color the pomegranate one was. I forget offhand. Can I see it from here? Yeah, I think that's about the same shade as this one. But yeah, this one's just raspberry. Uh, 20 gauge federal on the bottom. Um, let's see here. Oh, I totally got distracted by a notification. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell? Okay, uh, but yes, so it is not organic this time. This one's like the others apart from pomegranate. This one's just synthetic, which is okay too. That's fine. It's not limited edition. I think it is permanent collection. You can buy it from the website. You can buy it from Amazon. You can buy it from certain hardware stores. I say that with a grain of salt because I know not a lot do, but there have been sightings, so just saying. Uh, other than that, you guys would have to tell me if you've seen them elsewhere. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, as for are they part of a set, you can purchase them that way from the Bomb Shop website or you can buy them individually. So, hold on, what? Okay, yeah, no, they're not talking to me, so, anyways, um... Amount of product is, well, let's see, is it list? It must be on the other. 0.15 ounces, standard stick amount. Next to where it's got the little raspberry picture. Makes things easy. Price point, I forgot. Uh, every time I forget to check it before I film one of these, I suck. I suck. But I remember it's nothing crazy. It's very fair, so that should narrow down about what they cost, just from knowing what lip balms cost. But um, sturdiness-wise, they hold up very well. The caps they go on, they clip on real well. No wiggly turn wheels, they are just beautiful. Now, as for special features, it has SPF 15 in it, and we have octinoxate 7.5%, oxybenzone 3.5%, <clears throat> and petrolatum 40.5%. So, those are the active ingredients apart from the inactive ones. Uh, but yeah, so. Scent-wise, let's see how this baby smells. I expect it's going to be really good, because I like raspberry. Ooh. Oh, that's good. It's like a sweet raspberry, too. It's not like one of the really bitter, nasty, not ripe raspberries. That's good. It is a little bit, admittedly, artificial raspberry scented, I'm going to be honest, just so you go into it full disclosure there. But, I mean, it's a good raspberry, though, so, I mean... Maybe a touch artificial, but it does smell really good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Again, like, one of my only complaints is just that my fingers always end up smelling like metal from the base, so. But other than that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still getting over that cold. And this one, uh, I am noticing, much like the pomegranate one, there is a big old gap right between here and the tube, and you can see the white underneath, so that worries me a tiny bit, but I've also not had any of them fall apart, so I don't know. I mean, it's not proven to be problematic, but it does make me worry a little, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. 
nice soft one right from the get-go. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Let's see, is there a flavor? Not really, but you do smell it once it's on, so that's always nice. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Okay. So consistency-wise and thickness-wise, I'd say it's about a medium in thickness, and the consistency is very creamy. It's not sticky or tacky in the slightest, which is wonderful. Um, it's just very, very smooth. And like I said, I already said it's creamy, but yeah, it's just very nice. I love the consistency of this. It's super nice. As for shine factor, nothing much, but I understand why, because, I mean, they were made by a guy so that guys would actually put protection on their lips. So, I mean, I get it. On this one, I don't fault it for that, because it is supposed to be unisex that way, and that is a strength of theirs. There's, like, no shininess here at all. Just lip protection, which is good. Um, in terms of moisturization, I've had good luck with these. I've never had one not work, so there's that. I am going to go ahead and do the drink test and hope for the best that it works. Let's do one more. stays on. So it passes the drink test, and I say hell yeah, it gets the wow factor, so, um, I think my only complaints are just the metal smell that comes off on my fingers, and just the wonkiness of the base <clears throat> that makes me worry about if it's gonna break or not. But other than that, I have no problems with this, so this is getting an 8 out of 10. Very highly recommended. Um, if you guys can find them, even if you're not a Raspberry fan, just get anything from this brand. They are a wonderful brand. It's for a wonderful cause by a great guy. Seriously, I cannot recommend this brand to you enough. And no, this is not sponsored. I just genuinely am a fan of this brand and think they're wonderful. So, anyways, guys, that's about it from me for this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Have you tried this one? If so, let me know your thoughts, as well as on anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation, <laughs> I can talk. The donation link, as always, is in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.